Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here, greeting us boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. Yes, indeed, a brand new day filled with life. Hey, at least we have squishy cats to, to help distract us from the horrors of the world. They're soft, they're squishy, they're squishy cats. Yeah. Um, these were sent to me a bit ago, and I, I opened them up before, but I just wanted to show that they're still here. Yay! <laughs> uh. I have been feeling things building up behind my cyclical depression. I have been talking around the subject during my therapy sessions without actually talking about it. I've been dancing around the subject while I've been trying to figure out what exactly I'm feeling, what exactly is going on. Last night, when I went out for my walkies, I finally recognized the feeling that I have been having building up underneath my regular life and regular cyclical depression and regular just stuff going on what this new feeling was and I finally recognized it it's during the 12 years of marriage to my wife she was dying for 10 of those and then finally just a few days after our 12th anniversary she died that feeling that I had of the pressure of that depression, of just that weight, is what I'm feeling right now, living in the United States. I have my normal depression and normal stuff going on in my life, but with everything that's going on with the, well, the government, the pandemic, everything that's happening in the world, watching my country be murdered from within. I mean, I've looked upon this for a time as Ronald Reagan and the GOP drove a dagger into the heart of the country back in the me generation, greed is good stuff. And now, 50, you know, 40, 30 years later, it's all coming to fruition as we rocket into fascism, authoritarianism, and one, what, a third of the country fully lined up behind the idea that, yeah, this person that's destroying our country is doing it for us. So with everything happening, with Ruth Bader Ginsburg dying, with this new person that they're putting up to go onto the Supreme Court where there's no chance they're not going to be confirmed. And there is going to be tens of millions of people hurt over the next coming decades. Because even as the country continues to go to the left, our government is pandering to and using the systems thereof to use a very small portion of the country to keep riding over the top of the American public. So, there are going to be a lot of people hurt we're not going to see the toll in horror and pain for decades to come. And we're never going to be able to come up for air. We're never going to be able to concentrate enough to fix the country because as the climate continues to get worse, we're going to have to concentrate on that. But we're not going to be able to do that because we're going to have the right word part of the country refusing again and still to believe anything that's happening bad about climate change the collapse of biodiversity we're in the middle of an extinction event so 
We're never coming up for air. To everybody that's 40 years and younger, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. But, be that as it may, and that's as political as I want to get, but that's why I'm feeling what I'm feeling. All that stuff I felt watching my wife die is what I'm feeling now as this is all happening. So, I know why I find it so difficult to do anything at all. Why it's so hard to try and get any creative stuff done. Why I'm feeling so demotivated into actually getting stuff done. I want to get stuff done. There's things that I do want to do, but then it's so hard just to, to actually get them started. And once I'm started, it's so hard to keep them going. And this is why. So yeah, I got a lot to talk about during therapy because bad as things may be, the added pressure of depression Depression lies. Depression lies to you. So I've got to remember that. Depression is, is, well, depression is an orange Cheeto in government office. You can't believe it. It lies. So I've got to fight that. And I can and I will because with the Shilton, Washington Weather Plague Rat and Spider Report, the weather, it's been sunny and bright and warm. Again, I went out walkies last night with a shirt and t-shirt and it was so warm I was almost too hot by the time I came back. But after watching more Dr. Mike, well talking about not watching more, but talking about the Dr. Mike thing and how I've wanted to be more active, I went out walkies between 2 and 3, and then I went walkies again last night between 7 and 8. So I'm trying to go out walkies twice a day now. Thumbs up on that. A good thing. Exercise is good. And I need to keep my body going and keep it healthy as possible for any upcoming years here. So thumbs up on that. And of course, squishy cats. <laughs> Squishy cats. I've got a whole bunch of squishy cats. They're, they're fun because they're squishy. But with the spider report, the one garden spider above the window still doing well. She was very active with her web this morning. The one next to the box fan still doing well, but she's the smallest of the three garden spiders. Over in the corner, there's a drama going on. The garden spider, well, normally they hang, you know, head down as they wait. Well, she's turned right side up at an angle. And she's in a position of, oh. Now, there's a couple other spiders that are around her. And they're the smaller body, longer, thinner, spindly leg types. And one of them, I had noticed, was doing this fun little trick they have of just, it was sitting there in its web, pretty close to this garden spider that's on alert. And it was just reaching out one spindly little leg and going ping on a bit of web. Just a slow reach out and ping and then bring that leg back. Just that. So there's drama going on over there in the spiders. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I don't know. Is it going to be violent? Well, of course. Nature is red and tooth and claw. Thumbs up for that. Plague rat report. Uh, at least some people are wearing their, their masks. I mean, I saw more people wearing them than not. So that's good. You know, when out walking on the streets, I'm not so worried about that. So, I mean, I put my mask on when I get close to where I'm going to be going indoors, but if I'm just out walking, I count on social distancing. So, thumbs up on that. 
Now, as a weird thing, I had accidentally entered into a contest on Twitter because these people, Blazy Susan, were advertising a Blazy Susan, uh, you know, like a Lazy Susan thing, except it was for your pot and, and cannabis needs. And by retweeting this thing and going, hey, that looks kind of neat, I didn't realize I had entered into a contest. Well, I didn't win first place, but I got into the running. And so Blazy Susan asked me for my, my address. This got sent to my P.O. box. I don't mind showing you the address, because please, if you want to send like postcards or keychains. But they sent as a consolation prize for having entered and not won a handful of items from such things as some blazy Susan rolling papers here <laughs> to some they kind of got knocked apart with these cones that you can put your stuff into ah, dropping things everywhere but these are like literally cones. Thumbs up. And some Blazy Susan stickers. <laughs> See, there is joy in the world, even amidst all the depression and horror. So there's just Blazy Susan with a Blazy Susan. And a couple Blazy Susans. So, thumbs up. <laughs> Try to place them. Ooh, there's three. Cool. So, thumbs up on that. I just wanted to show that off because not all is horror, death, and terror in the world. I mean, mostly it is, but not all together. See, that was weather, plague, rat, and spider report. And then that was this good stuff that just showed up. Somebody, there, I haven't been able to remember the names properly. And I'm very sorry. Alex had sent along some things. Thank you, Alex. I can't remember what it was, but thank you very, very much. And there was something as well. Becca Chase. Thank you so very, very much. Greatly appreciated. It's mostly cat food and happy stuff and things like that. So thank you very, very much. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up. Well, good golly, Miss Molly. Past that, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. I mean, I keep going out walkies. I walk on the railroad tracks when I can, you know, because I enjoy walking on railroad tracks, as I've talked about. I've gotten pretty good at balancing on the tracks because I am a child, so I don't just walk on the, the ties and all that. I'll balance and walk on the, on the actual metal tracks themselves. And there's one section that they're pretty flat, so it's easy. If the track itself is at an angle, that's harder to keep my balance on. I try, but I can usually only go about two or three steps. When it's nice and flat, hokey smokes, I can go about 20 or 30 feet. Now, does that matter? No, but still, it's, it's fun. <laughs> uh, so, yes, just surviving and doing what I can. I'm playing a lot of games and trying to do as best I can. I know that the stuff that I've been doing of late for my channel is not the most popular stuff. I mean, my, my grim, Grimm's Tales there from American McGee and his Spicy Horse Company like 13 years ago aren't the most popular videos I've ever made, but it has been so hard these past couple of days. I'm doing my best and I'm trying, but I'm kind of glad the one I did was, was so long of an episode because, oh my gosh, my eye itches so much because I just would not have been able to do anything at all yesterday because of the way I was feeling. So, still doing what I can because even though things aren't good up here because things aren't good out here, I have to survive in this world. Hopefully you 
are actually watching here and haven't just tuned out in the first couple minutes because of how depressing and awful that was. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, but I'm going to go through and thank 25 people for having left me a comment. It is arranged because even though I count in American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and more, I forget a whole bunch of stuff. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and I'm not reading the comments right now, except I do have pretty good peripheral vision or paraphobial vision, so... I occasionally read them accidentally, even though I'm not looking at them, but I'm thumbs up for that. So, let me call up my Chrome. <coughs> we have Richard Kim, thumbs up and thank you. Oscar O'Brien. Then there's Lyrically Faded with a whole bunch of digits instead of vowels, thumbs up. Confused Owl, 29, greatly appreciated. Nico 101, thumbs up and thank you. Reese, Greatly appreciated. Carlos Bascatore. I bet I'm nowhere close, but thank you. F-R-M-A-C-L-E-O-D. Thumbs up and thank you. We have Made in Canada. No, just Made in Canada. <laughs> I've forgotten where I am. One, two, three, four. Call it five. Now it's six, seven, eight. I, I've honestly forgotten where I'm. Nine. We'll call it that. Made in Canada, nine. Thank you much. Chris Bryce, greatly appreciated. Metal Guitarist, 666. Hey, thumbs up. It's, it's good to see you. And then Saul Bentley, greatly appreciated. Tommy Copeland, thumbs up. Tommy Nelson, greatly appreciated. Castrated, heck of a name. Thumbs up and thank you. Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. Colin Reisnauer, thumbs up. Kennedy. 3D3, thumbs up. There is Spiritual Essence. How about that? And then we have XX, Sir Tricky XX, thumbs up. And there is Flora Mew. Good to see you in the comments. And thank you very, very much for all that you said. It is good. Rebecca Darling, MSP, thumbs up. Anthony Covers C, greatly appreciated. A whole bunch of symbols, and then the word History Squad, and then more symbols, thumbs up and thank you. And Mohammed Muthi Aswar, greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and right now, hokey smokes. That is extremely appreciated. Oh boy it helps a lot and hey if you could check out my various links down below i have twitter facebook gofundme patreon.com if you could donate to my gofundme campaign or become a patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people that would be beautiful and awesome if you'd like to help me out but you don't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well with things like hamster bedding, which I use as cat bedding, cat bedding, cat litter box stuff as well. So that works out now that all my hamsters are gone. And cat food. So if you could check it out, that'd be very, very cool. Now, do not feel entitled. You wouldn't, but do not feel obligated I don't feel entitled, and if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up, especially right now. And hopefully I remember to put that please subscribe to the channel thing at the beginning. Here's hoping. Well, good golly, Miss Molly. Here's hoping you watched to the end. Here's hoping you made it past my depressing beginning. Here's hoping that you have a great day today. So, <laughs> you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And please, wear a mask because it's smart. Practice your social distancing because it's safe. Practice self-care, especially right now. Hokey smokes is very important. And of course, Black Lives Matter. And justice for everybody that the jack-booted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs keep brutalizing and murdering on American streets. <laughs>